Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is the last day of March 2021. It's uh, Wednesday, so the middle of the week. Let's take a look at the first calendar, what is going on here. It looks like we have a busy day ahead of us, but some data of course had been released already. The most important one was from China, PMI manufacturing beat the expectation of 51.3 with the number of 51.9, which is better than 50.6 uh, number last, uh, last month. Non-manufacturing PMI has beat the expectations as well, 56.3 uh, versus 51.9 and it, the, the number of um, 56.3 is better than 51.4 from the last uh, month. Uh, the other data uh, from the Eurozone this time, uh, GDP, uh, the UK GDP uh, is better than expected, 1.3% quarter to quarter versus 1% uh, uh, forecast and 1% uh, last time. So as you can see, something is uh, increasing uh, in the uh, in the UK. Uh, plenty of data from the uh, Eurozone countries in in uh, um, in form of the consumer price index, like from France. Um, um, unemployment rate and employment change data uh, around nine o'clock uh, as scheduled for release uh, from Germany. Um, GDP from Italy, uh, uh, consumer price index and uh, uh, consumer price index score data um, from Eurozone as scheduled at uh, ten o'clock. There is uh, expect uh, the expectations are. 1.4% jump uh, in consumer price index versus the 0.9% last time. So that's a kind of a significant jump in the consumer price index. And during the um, New York session, we have ADP non-farm uh, employment change data scheduled for release quarter past one. Mm, so that might be interesting uh, uh, to take a look at this uh, data. Uh, gross domestic product from Canada is scheduled for release half past one. Mm, there's expectations uh, of uh, increase from 0.1 to 0.5%. And as you can see, uh, we got uh, more data from the uh, US Chicago Purchasing Managers Index, pending home sales, and for all of you crude oil traders, we have a crude oil inventory scheduled for release as at uh, half past three. So kind of a busy day, plenty of data to be uh, digested by the uh, markets, but because there's a, uh, a lot of uh, consumer price index uh, data from the Eurozone, we will take a look at the Euro dollar. And then of course, due to the that data from China, we'll take a look at uh, Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar and gold. So let's start with the uh, Euro dollar. As you can see, the Euro dollar follows our scenario almost perfectly. Recently, we just have uh, another leg down uh, towards our target at 127% uh, of the Fibonacci extension at 1.1732. Uh, this level has been hit. There you go. Right now, we are done with our uh, our scenario targets hit very very well, um, so we can just uh, uh, remove this one, and uh, yes, I will leave leave it like that. So right now we have a, a technical resistance at 1.1831, and the key level, the key level that will change the uh, the outlook for the euro is of course the level of 1.20. Uh, to be exact 1.2013 which is just above the uh, top of the old wave 4 this is the old technical uh, support right now so because it's resistance uh, let me just change the color to the to the red one okay so right now um, we are trading very very uh, very low uh, on the euro dollar we are around the level of one point that was 17 or 16 already uh, 1.1704 so the next target in the case of the extension of this wave five, the next target is 161% of the Fibonacci um, extension, 1.1594. This is the next target in the case of the extension on the euro dollar. But uh, please remember, well done uh, with our 
uh, scenario completed uh, 100% and there is something cooking here on the RSI as you can see this low has been made on the uh, lower volume than uh, this this low the low of the way free so maybe there is a first indication that some kind of a pullback or trend continuation is coming to the euro dollar so that's everything from that pair let's take a look at the australian dollar and everything is again again everything is um developing as expected so maybe you remember if not i will just um remind you this is shoulder right this is the left shoulder this is the right shoulder and if it is so then this is of course a head so what we have is a head and shoulder patterns on a daily time frame of our australian dollar to American dollar the neckline had been already already violated um, we made a low at the level of um, 7564 already this is the low of the uh, left shoulder the left shoulder is at 7564 to be to, to the pip okay we had a slight bounce uh, the bulls tested this neckline here the blue line but so far i can see a rejection of the um of the neckline so right now we are heading lower and this head and shoulder pattern means um australian dollar will be sold american dollar will be bought next target is oh uh, 7415 pips so this is this this is this line here let me just um uh sh sh point it out this is that line yeah our blue arrow shows you what's the target there is some sort of the support at 7483 but it should be violated in case of the um uh, acceleration to the downside so australian dollar to the new zealand dollar well done uh, sorry, I said not American dollar. Uh, well done, New Zealand dollar. Uh, what is going on there? Excellent. It looks like the same situation is here. So we have a little bit more uh, skewed uh, shoulder, head and shoulder. Um, it doesn't look like the head and shoulder price pattern at the first glance, but it's very, uh, very similar. We have a breakout to the downside from this supposedly uh, uh, not very uh, friendly um, uh, triangle. This is this is kind of a maybe even a kind of a, a kind of a. Uh, a range kind of a, um, a range zone for the for the new zealand dollar anyway we have a breakout below this low of the march this is the march low 7095 visible breakout we are more than 4.91 percent which is the biggest correction in uh, since the beginning of the rally from the uh, august last year so right now this is obvious that we have an overpriced uh, overbalance of price and time seven percent of a down move so we don't need this measure anymore and what do we hit we hit to the pip our zone of demand the demand zone um between 7941 and 7972 slight um, slight bounce but as you can see we are still holding the ground on this um, on this zone the next technical uh technical uh, resistance is um is located let me just take a look is located here which is the low of the march 7095 this is the technical resistance and it looks like um we hit the oversold market condition as well so maybe there will be some sort of the bounce towards 7095 and then we should continue the down move towards the key technical support 6753 so that's the new zealand dollar and as i said the last one will be of course gold why because of the data from china and as you can see we are still we, uh, below the trend line the market tried to rally but it didn't happen uh, some sort of the consolidation some sort of the pushing up and down up and down nothing major happened here uh, which is why the bears took control again of the market 
we broke out of this this zone between 1720 1755 we broke to the downside we hit the low of the march uh, at the level of 1676 so we revisited the 61 percent of the whole move up and right now it's very interesting situation because it looks like the market uh, wants to go lower lower uh towards the next uh, the next target which is uh, at the level of let me just take a look at the at the um some macro view um let's just assume that this is the next target uh, 1668 and there is one more support we can place it here 1658 so that's not far away to be honest mm, uh, but if we break below this levels then the next support is around the 1645 so there there are some supports but be just because we broke below 61 percent again because for the first time we we jumped then we broke again i think that there is still uh bearish pressure on the gold despite the the negative uh divergence between price and the uh, and the rsi i think there is still potential to go at least 20 maybe maybe 30 dollars lower before any bounce will will be present on the spot gold market so that's everything for me for today thank you very much for watching this analysis and i hope i see you guys tomorrow bye bye